Mm -hmm. I chose the Vienna Plus. Okay. Um, pretty sure this is one of Seattle Coffee Gear's most, you know, it sells the most really popular machine. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, kind of just a standard Brennan theme. Is it's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that you can get into the grinder very easily. Um, a lot of super automatics, you have to take uh, whole panels off and things like that just to eventually get to the grinder. Mm -hmm. But with the Vienna, it's right here two screws off you can get to the grinder which is something you'll obviously have to service at some point okay through the life of your machine um just one boiler um you know it's just like i said it's very simple it does not take that long to heat up um and it's just very very user friendly um the alarms on it are very you know it lets you know exactly what's going on mm -hmm. you know as well as it can without a digital readout okay um so for all those reasons, I really, really like this machine. And if you ever do need to force prime it, it's very easy to force prime. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the inlet's right up here, so you can get right there and force prime it pretty easily. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's kind of a no bells or whistles machine, just kind of gets it done, and it's very good at doing it. Thanks, B. No problem. I chose the Seiko X Small because it somehow manages to fit super automatic functionality into a small and unassuming package. I mm -hmm. chose the Seiko X Small. Okay. Um, because it's extra small. And <laughs> actually, because it's also chubby. <laughs> so I find I, I really do. He's like he's tiny, kind of like dwarfy and elfy and I, I really love that about him because I feel like we don't get this kind of aesthetic very often. Yes. Um, and it's just really easy to use, simple volumetric controls here. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. I think it has one of the lower profiles, too, of our Super Auto, so it's mm -hmm. really easy to fit under the counter for people who have, you know, tight space or those old 80s kind of cabinets that mm -hmm. hang a little low. Yeah. This is the guy for you. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you. At first, I was afraid. <laughs> I was petrified. Because I didn't really know what was going on inside a super automatic. Okay. But then B, in our parts department, mm -hmm. he totally like, boom, 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 took this apart to its basic pieces, which is what they do in our refurbish department as uh -huh. well. And now once I've got an idea of what's going on inside, I'm no longer afraid. It's like not actually magic. There's machinery. There's no elves in there. No elves, which so, was a bummer. <laughs> so why did you choose the Vienna out of all of the non-magical super autos? It actually is the most user-friendly in terms of doing your own cleaning and maintenance. Okay. And we have a bunch of videos to show how to do that. Cool. All right. Thanks, Sam. Yep. Yes. The Intelia Focus. Any of the Intelia line, actually. Okay. Um, bypass doser. It's got the <laughs> wiggly jiggly that yeah, get, <laughs> lets the beans go down a little mm -hmm. bit easier. Two programmable buttons. Um, it's just a nice look. It's the newest line that they have out as far as looks go, and I like it. And it's cool. not too big, not too small, and the price is right. Thanks, Gail. You're welcome. So I chose the Jura Ina 4 okay. for my Super Auto. Um, really easy to use. You have your one button that you can program. Mm -hmm. um, steam arm on the front. Steam arm can be a little loose, so you got to make sure you clean it. But as long as it's clean, it's not going to fly off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a small water tank, but it's in the back for easy access. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, this guy kind of runs forever. We had this in our kitchen and it was used and abused for many years. And it's still running. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> still going. Goes and goes and goes. Cool. Thanks, Benny. Thank you. I chose the Vienna okay. Plus as my super automatic. And very, very simple machine, mm -hmm. but it'll still make you a great cup of coffee. It's okay. A shot of espresso, cappuccino, whatever you want. And you know, pretty easy to use. You just have your dial in the front here for the volume, mm -hmm. your brew button, and away it'll go. Very, very simple, great workhorse machine, and a decent price. Cool, thanks. Thank you. I chose the Ina 4. Okay. Um, it's a nice footprint. It's mm -hmm. not very large, so it's not going to take up a lot of room on your counter. Um, you ha get a great shot out of the Jura machines. They mm -hmm. have that really nice high dosage of coffee in mm -hmm. them. Um, it has a, you know, a nice little, uh, bypass, which is, um, you know, really, I think pretty affordable, um, mm -hmm. level of this machine. So okay. you're going to get that bypass doser. Um, and it, it's not very confusing. I mean, it's pretty limited in its programming, but I don't really need a lot of programming. So this is kind of the perfect machine for me. Okay. Thanks, Terry. Yep. So I chose the Seiko X small. Okay. I really like the shape of him. Mm -hmm. It's very curvy, um, and just round all in general and so I really like that okay. without 
you know, having to fit, um, fidget with the drawers and drawers like you do on the um, rounder bodies sometimes. Okay. Um, it also has two buttons that you can program for your um, different types of cups of coffee for the amount of water that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So very easy to use machine. Cool. Thanks, Miranda. Thanks.